Dear students, now that we know what are alpha helices, let us study another type of secondary structure. This is called as the beta sheets. So there will be two modules on beta sheets and this is the first one in the series. You know that alpha helices are formed when the C and N terms, they make hydrogen bonds together and that they must be at a distance of at least four residues. So once such a situation arises, there is a chance that alpha helices will be formed. Now what other types of structures may also be formed as a result of different interactions other than the one that I just mentioned. So beta sheets are the other most common secondary structure that exists in the proteins. So beta sheets are formed from beta strands once they come together and they form the beta sheet. So essentially the first step in the formation of a beta sheet is a beta strand. Also 5 to 10 residues are required in minimum to start formation of a beta strand. Let me show you how to make a beta sheet out of a beta strand. As you can see here the backbone of the amino acid along with the side chains. So if there is a hydrogen bond between the C and N terms then this portion of the backbone may be called as a beta strand. And once this hydrogen bond is formed with another beta strand then a beta sheet is formed. So the beta sheets are made up of several such beta strands. Now let me elaborate on two types of beta sheets. So the first one is the parallel beta sheet. Here all the interactions between the CO and the NH are shown here and they are all in the same direction. Whereas a different situation may arise and these interactions may occur between the C and N terms of two strands with the same strand talking to a third strand alternatively. So you can see that these two strands have a hydrogen bond here followed by two hydrogen bonds between these two strands followed by two hydrogen bonds in the first two strands. So if such a sequence of hydrogen bonding is there then this is called an anti-parallel beta sheet. So in conclusion beta sheets another, are another type of secondary structures that exist in protein and there are two types the parallel beta sheets and the anti-parallel beta sheets and also there are some preferences within the amino acids that we need to study in order for us to evaluate their participation in the beta sheets as well.